Hello, Adam Rayner, Slingshot World TV, and today, well, it's only the second day after the end of lockdown, and I've come to Ranger in deepest Surbiton, where the gentlemen, well, there's Tom and there's Dan, and I've got this man's name wrong 14 times already this morning. <laughs> Not a problem, Adam. Always a pleasure to see you. Yes. So which one are you, Tom or Dan? I am Dan. Yes, I'm despite the, the fact we can't see half your face, Dan. That's and it, that You've both got beards. And... Yeah. Um, the reason I'm here today is that during lockdown, you guys have gone a little bit slingshot mad, to say the least, and that uh, I would suggest that you were the leading yeah. light in this, <laughs> and you've kind of driven your colleagues slightly bonkers with it too. We've worked really hard over the time with lockdown and stuff, all separately in our own places, of course, but we really feel that we've put together a good collection of slingshots, you know, catapult slingshots, and we feel we've got the best collection of any place in the UK. I, I would agree. You know, but if anyone hears of anywhere different, please let us know, you know, but um, also come down and visit us, see what we've got. There's the classic Mill Bros, the new Mill Bros, there's ammunition, there's some interesting purchases you guys have made and just quietly got on sale here. It's a pro shot coolness. I mean, there's all sorts of everything. The main thing is, is that it's all here and you can heft it and try it. You can touch it. And the other thing is, of course, is the insane levels of enthusiasm you will find behind the counter. <laughs> Very kind some... of you to say so. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's if you want to come and actually give some elastic a twang and... Feel the frame in your hand. This is the place to come. And we've got so many styles, designs, you know, we've got natural forks, natural frames made by ourselves. We've got more sort of like custom frames, again, made by people ourselves and other people that we know. More commercial frames from numerous brands, Barnet, Milbro, the new Milbro TTF, which I know maybe- Oh yeah, the balance, yeah. show us the one, you've, yeah. you've, you've added some tape to it. So I was very rude about it in the magazine and you said I was rude about it, but you've also said, that you can now hit a penny. Uh, this one, yeah. No, it would be this one. So I took the folding brace one and I removed the brace. And as you can see with my one, what I did is I swapped the, uh, the tips around so that they're not outside. They're now on the inside. And the reason they're on the inside is because then I can draw from this side, similar to a matchstick, you know, method of pinning. Yes. And it also means that this piece of rubber acts as a small guard so that it doesn't wear. This is the original band that came with it. I've simply cut it down and put an appropriate pouch on, but, and built up the grip. But to be honest, a hammer grip slingshot, TTF, for that price point, with or without the wrist brace, quid. is amazing quality. You know, and as I said, I can hit, I can, I can hit, good targets with this. I'm, he bragged I'm worse than that, now he's on camera, he's not saying a penny ten times hey, in a row, you know, but you can you can shoot accurately with it, and that's a good bit of balance, because I was excoriatingly yeah. rude about that in the magazine. And all your criticism I? was fair, Adam, honestly. Everything you said, the forks being too high, the gap being too here, the point of the actual fibres being on the outside, pointless for TTF. However, you know, with a little bit of modification, this is really an accurate target shooter. So there you, you go, know? it just goes to show that... Uh, some bloke writing a magazine is not necessarily going to be entirely correct. Well, actually, it's a question of correct versus uh, how you find it. That's so it. Um, that's it. That's all it is. It's individual, and we can tailor our setups for ourselves. Yeah. And that's uh, that, what more can you say? And of course, I think the finish off bit is right here over the counter. The classic Mill Bros as well. Oh, actually, having said that, pull out that stuff from under the counter. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So again, not not totally. But yeah, we have things like this. So this would be They've our got sort a of bucket of naturals, hidden and natural box stuff to finish. Things that so ash, hazel, hazel. Some of them, you know, finished up more than others. We've got some birch ply frames that are currently in the works. More hay. To be honest, <laughs> yeah, that's probably just easier. We'll get rid of that old fishing one. And this is just what we've got in stock at the moment that we're working our way through. You know, we've got some that are ready to go. Yes. We've got some that are finished up, tabbed, banded with charms. Could you pass one of those ones with a tied up string? Yeah, yeah. We no were worries. talking about that earlier. I think we will finish off with that. We really like This these. has definitely got to be the string wrapped frame that goes. They're special. On the first slingshots of Desire right. page. Mate. How about if we do it on the black background over here? Oh, it's uh, beautiful. We can see it. Tell us about your um, your YouTube channel as well, just before we do uh, finally. Yeah, so um, I've just started a YouTube channel called Slingshot Time. Uh, it's basically just going to be covering what we're doing here at Ranger and obviously my own sort of experiences throughout. 
it's basically to sort of explain to as many people and get as many people involved as possible really because this this hobby that we really all love there's no limit to it now there's no price point to entry it's such a low cost sport accuracy of accuracy to get into you know you can be any age any size any strength absolutely look at the videos from the chinese world cup you yeah. know there's awesome. numerous countries you can be anyone and you can do this you know awesome i'm much happy note we'll we'll finally leave it there and uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, i'll put the I'm... website in the notes underneath it no, no dude your passion is awesome and i love I it i hope it comes across it certainly does we really love them signing out for sunshot world tv signing out have a great day